Alright. I seem to say that for every video, but I feel it's hard to start it off for some reason when I don't say that. Hmm. Weird. I'm a, I guess I'm a creature of habit. But what's we gonna do? Lovely. Is we're gonna go do a boss fight hold and the soft demon. I really don't wanna do this. Probably gonna die a lot. Cause I have forgotten how to play Dragon Age. And I still don't have my party members, so I guess it's a solo fight. So, let's go. What do we have here? A rebellious minion? An escaped slave? <laughs> my, my. But you do have some gall. But playtime is over. You all have to go back now. Your mouth isn't moving. Oh, here I am. And there you are. You just disappeared. Well, no matter. How did I get here? What happened to all those luscious wood nymphs? You will not hold us, demon. We found each other in this place, and you cannot um, stand against us. I found you, bitch. Us. Correction. If you go back quietly, I'll do better this time. I'll make you much happier. Can't you think about someone other than yourself? I'm hurt. So very, very hurt. You wish to battle me? So be it. You will learn to bow to your betters, mortal. Mouth doesn't even move. Ah! Okay, yeah. I'm out of there. Nobody saw that. You defeated the demon. I never thought. I never expected you to free yourself. To free us both. When you return, take the litany of Adrala from my body. 
It will protect you from the worst of the blood magic. I cannot go with you. I have been here far too long. For you, it will have been an afternoon's nap. Your body won't have wasted away in the real world while your spirit lays in the hands of the demon. Every minute I was here, the sloth demon was feeding off of me, using my life to fuel the nightmares of this realm. There is so little of me left. I was never meant to save the circle or survive its troubles. I am dying. It is as simple as that. Thank you, but it is too late for me. I do not fear what may come. They say we return to the Maker in death, and that isn't such a terrible thing. My only regret is that I could not save the Circle. But you... You're very you can. pathetic. Take the litany off my... My body when you return. I'm, I'm done talking I'm not to you. A hero. It is thank yeah, like you're pathetic. I hate talking to you. You make me upset. Just stop. <laughs> well that wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. You guys I really did thought I was gonna be alone for a little bit. You're not old or dead. As you desire. Am I down on the bottom? No. But there's plenty of loot. And so I, I shall. I cannot complain about that. Well, all right. I wish I could learn my my special too. Like I would love her to be like a blood major. We just have to get all the way down and... Well, fuck. We have to get all the way down, as I said. And save the mage to stop. And all the abominations and shit should be gone. But I'm still super mad as ever and he can't open those fucking chests. Just a common room. Oh look, another chest that he can vault open. I might do another playthrough of this as like a rogue or something less awful. Like, I love magic and mages and stuff, but... I'm so weak and little. I can't go in there. That's nice. Thank you, everybody. Wasting my time making me go in a circle. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, the game was like five seconds behind. I don't know what's going on.
Okay. Well, it shouldn't lag for much longer. I feel like the worst is behind us. Nope, nope, still gonna lag. That's so nice of the game. I've been playing Davillion a little too long. I keep trying to press those buttons. Yeah. Ooh, get out of the way, Alistair. God, big booty Judy alert. Okay, we're almost out of here. So many dead bodies. Look after her, will you? Oh my god. I don't know if she's up to this, especially not after... I just worry. Thank you. Okay, so you're not gonna give me a cutscene, so we're just gonna go back to them. Oh my god, let me... Do I go out this way? No, because that was a dead body. I need to learn to read it now. So we can go all the way back around. Move, Zevran. We're on a mission, and it's time sensitive. Don't look at all those dead bodies. Alistair, what's this? It's a sock. It's a filthy sock. How did it find its way to my bedroll? Maybe it likes you. Socks are sneaky like that. Anyway, it's not mine. It has your name stitched on it. Oh, <laughs> uh, part of Templar training back at the Chantry. The men were uh, always getting their socks mixed up. A anyway, um, sorry about that. I'll take it from you right now. One of my socks is feeling a little damp anyway. A change would be nice. You're going to put it on? It's filthy. And dry. We're not exactly traveling in the lap of luxury here. What hideous habits you've picked up. Okay, for one win, you haven't even gone back to the camp, so don't even attack Alistair. Two, shut the fuck up. It's a sock. I'm leaving you behind. You're not coming with me anywhere. We can... And so I shall. Let me out. Lovely. Oh, motherfucker, if I have to go all the way back up there... I'm sorry that your homecoming has been marred. Still, it is good to see you back, and I am glad you survived Ostagar. You heard about Loghain. I would never have imagined the Terran... So... Wait, what the fuck do I need to do? Okay, so where do I go? I need to save the circle. I can't exactly save the circle if... Oh. I swear to god. Fine. We'll go back up. Hey guys, I'll see you when I'm all the way back by the tower. Yeah, we're back to the very disgusting fourth floor. You can hear like everything just kind of moving. So appetizing. So I killed the. Okay. Yeah, so I have to go all the way. Don't you want to? I killed the sloth demon. Why are there still demons? Maybe it's just ones I didn't kill. Here. 
different. It's like moving and it's wet and it's squishy and hmm. to get. I'm very certain that that Zavarin could not open chest because he's failed so many times before. Okay, works for me. As you desire. Of course. Hmm. Perhaps I could have a try at that. So you, you serious? You can't open that? Like we could seriously open that with like an axe or something. Lovely. Well, you are useful, but you're an old whiny bitch. Okay, let's just go to what? Oh, it's saving. This trick again? I know what you are. It won't work. I will stay strong. Helen. Only too well. Ugh, how far they must have delved into my thoughts. The boy is exhausted. And this cage, I, I've never seen anything like it. Rest easy. Help is here. Ugh, enough visions. If anything in you is human, ugh, kill me now and stop this game. You broke the others, but I will stay strong for my sake. For theirs. Sifting through my thoughts, tempting me with the one thing I always have. Using my shame against me, my ill-advised infatuation with her. Ugh. A mage, of all things. Someone was quite a little heartbreaker when they were an apprentice. My, my. I am so tired of these cruel jokes. These tricks, these... <laughs> Silence! 
I'll not listen to anything you say. Now be gone. Still here. But that's always worked before. I close my eyes, but you are still here when I open them. Don't blame me for being cautious. The voices, the, the images, so real. But why have you returned to the tower? How did you survive? Good. Kill Aldred. Kill them all for what they've done. They caged us like animals, looked for ways to break us. I'm the only one left. They turned some into monsters and... Oh, there was nothing I could do. What others? What are you talking about? Irving and the other mages who fought Aldred. Where are they? They are in the harrowing chamber. The sounds coming up from there. Oh, Maker. We must hurry. They are in grave danger, I am sure of it. You can't save them! You don't know what they've become. But you haven't been up there. You haven't been under their influence. They've been surrounded by, by blood mages whose wicked fingers snake into your mind and corrupt your thoughts. His hatred of mages is so intense. The memory of his friend's deaths is still fresh in his mind. You have to end it now, before it's too late. Are you really saving anyone by taking this risk? To ensure this horror is ended. To guarantee that no abominations or blood mages live. You must kill everyone up there. That is your choice to make, but I beg you to consider what I have to say. You cannot tell Maleficarum by sight. Just one could influence the mind of a king, of a grand cleric. Make her turn his gaze on you. I hope your compassion hasn't doomed us all. Weren't you just saying how you were infatuated with my character? You're a dick. Let's go. As you desire. Do you accept the gift that I offer? I remember you, Irving Star Pupil. Aldred didn't think much of you then, and I certainly don't see your appeal now. Uh, I suppose one can't be loved universally. I'm quite impressed you're still alive. 
Unfortunately, that must mean you killed my servants. Ah, oh, well, they are probably better off dying in the service of their betters than living with the terrible responsibility of independence. Wait, wait, wait! Let's not be hasty. I'm trying to have a civilized conversation here. A mage is but the larval form of something greater. Your gentry vilifies us, calls us abominations, when we have truly reached our full potential. Look at them. The gentry has them convinced. They deny themselves the pleasure of becoming something glorious. You're mad. There's nothing glorious about what you've become, Aldred. <laughs> Aldred? He is gone. I am Aldred, and yet not Aldred. I am more than he was. I could give you this gift to win. You and all the mages. It would be so much easier if you just accepted it. But some people can be so stubborn. Fight, if you must. It will just make my victory all the sweeter. Don't forget the litany. It will thwart Aldred's attempts to control the mages and win this fight for us. So how do you use the litany? Well, all right. Oh, goodness. Okay. I had to. You did it. I feel almost sorry for them, but it had to be done. No, it didn't. We could have tried harder to save them. We failed, but at least, at least this is over now. Thank you. The Templars will forever be in your debt. When Aldred died, the magic confining me dissipated. I 
wanted to make sure things were all right. We will have to start over, but there will always be mages, and the circle will always be needed. Follow me then. Hmm. Will he... Will I get... You said you have proof. Where is it? I will not risk leaving the doors open. Accept my word as proof, sir. All the mages are dead. We no longer have happened. to fear their dark powers. We will form the circle anew upon the remains of the old. And we will not make the same mistakes okay, twice. Whatever. Win, I am sure you were instrumental in bringing peace to the tower. And you have always been a respected member of the circle. The circle will be in need of a first enchanter. There is none other more suited to this position than you. It is yours, if you will accept it. Ah, oh, Gregor. You only picked me because all the rest of the senior mages are either dead or otherwise incapacitated. But I cannot accept this offer. I wish to teach and to learn, and I will not spend the rest of my life tiptoeing around the Chantry. I would, in fact, prefer to remain in the company of the Grey Warden, if she will have me. I was at Ostagar, and we failed. This will not happen a second time. The Dark Spawn must be taken down. And I wish to be there when it happens. Are you sure you will not reconsider? The circle needs you. There is hardly a circle left to speak of. I will return to the circle when Ferelden is safe, if I can. I suppose nothing I say will change your mind. Very well. Join the Grey Warden if it pleases you. As for you, I am grateful for what you have done, and I did give you my word that we would aid you in your battle against the Darkspawn. I intend to honor my promise to you. Once we have secured the tower, my men and I will make our way to battle. After all, we still have not heard from Denerim, and the Darkspawn threaten all of Ferelden. It falls to me to decide what we must do. The Templars out of duty and gratitude, will stand with the Grey Wardens. You must excuse me. There are loose ends to be tied up, and the Chantry must be informed that the situation here is under control. We will meet again soon. Till then, may the Maker watch over you. Yes. Yes. What the hell? She's locked in there. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. You really killed all those abominations. Oh God, that's not fair. I didn't think it was possible. I thought we'd you're all die here. I'm sure you need supplies after that, don't you? I guess it's because we're we're still in the mages circle or whatever. Okay, whatever. Um, I guess I could sell, but we out. We are so out. your business that would be I'm 
people can wear. Mabari stuff because I'm never using the Mabari. you're obviously saying to give you all of Kaylin's armor. <laughs> you really killed them. I'm sure you need supplies after that, Still don't you? You really killed all those abominations. I'm sure you need supplies after that, Honestly. don't you? need a cutscene every time I try to trade. Oh god. Ooh, I need health shit. Of course. Do you even have black? Looks like you had black. I could make my own. You've returned. Why? And you don't. All the other Templars have left for the oh war. God. There is nothing here but a to tower to in shambles. Hello, what's in the base? Gregor said that I had been through enough, that I need to recover. You should go. 
A great battle awaits you, does it not? Okay, so I want to talk to Cullen before I leave. Oh, well, don't break my heart twice. Okay, yeah. I was like, why was he orange? Okay, so I guess we're gonna try and... Oh, no. Oh, that's probably the dark spawn. Okay, so we're gonna try and... Find the dwarves. Let's go try and find the dwarves. Oh no, the game froze. I don't like that. I haven't saved. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Just wants to be a big baby. A blight. How will you end it? Is that all? It is surrounded by an ocean of darkspawn. How will you reach it? If you reach it, how will you slay it? You say you are a Grey Warden. I have heard stories of this order. Great strategists and peerless warriors. That is what we hear of the Wardens. So far, I am not impressed. I don't know what's going on with the game. Will you make that excuse to the Archdemon, or the victims it claims in the meantime? So after restarting and everything, um, I don't notice any real lag issues. Hello. Maybe it was just the, boy's the a bit computer simple, momentarily. He's rather good with enchantments. So we didn't One miss much. Um, I did end up called him a bandit, but now? who I Logan survived. had sent for me. I had no idea such a thing they existed. They were waiting for me at the bottom of this hill. He can fold Which, Miriam into honestly, I should probably go back to my dwarves before I venture forth any further. Yes, I do need it's a process and I need some a lot more than Smith's back in Ulzimar will perform. But I need merchant boy on the side of the road is just right as now. adept at it. Isn't that so right, boy? I'm going to gather my party and venture and forward. There you have it. Go back to the camp. Probably have some conversations. You know, we don't really talk to the other characters, so might throw that in here. I'm also losing track of time. Sven, I just got here. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. Well, Sven, you have to remember that I'm just a baby Grey Warden, and Alistair is the senior party member here. And even so, he hasn't been a Grey Warden very long either. So, how about you stick it? I'm regretting saving you, but you're being nothing but a pain in the butt. I don't care if you approve, Sten. Jesus. Okay. 
I'm gonna go talk to my dwarveses. Hello. Enchantment! <laughs> Fucking love sandal. What can we do? Enchantment! Oh, so I finished a quest? I just want what I can get. Flasks. Okay. Can I, can I buy them though? Shit, just give me be like 50. <laughs> I ain't even, I ain't even joking at this point. You can see like he still has plus 99 flasks. He's like unlimited, so. So you don't have any kits for me. Oh, but I don't want to spend it. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. I'm yeah, sure you'll be I think, I think we would give that to Morgan. Anyways. Cat Lady's Hubble Stick. <laughs> okay. Anyways, do you have anything for a era? I just. I really do get tired. Are you of sure I can't interest you in this hat? A pair of earrings, looking perhaps. At her a cheat. And her a dark spawn of a tight loathering. I don't think like everyone even had fled by the time they came her. either. Word has it they swarmed the entire Why area, that? making off with prisoners and burning down you the you buildings. Could sell it for gold, and then they were gone, just as quick. I wonder if there's anyone left. I heard some chanters were going to head down south. Maybe to try to find some survivors. I'm not holding out hope myself. That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. Take it for what it is. I heard from some travelers that something bad might have happened in Redcliffe. Well, I guess I'm done Darkspawn, here. I'm just going to make potions. There's no word from the village at all. A merchant friend of mine said he encountered someone fleeing the place and there was nothing waiting for him there but death. He wisely turned around and came right back. That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. Take it for what it is. All right, that works for me. Of course, good for. Goodbye. Yes, yes, my discount. Here I am. And you oh, can't teach this me should anything, be good. but Go I'm ahead. definitely gonna buy more flasks. I know little enough of the Dalish other than the fact that my mother was one, or so I was told. 
She had fallen in love with an elven woodcutter and accompanied him back to the city, leaving her clan behind for good. And there, of course, the woodcutter died of some filthy disease and my mother was forced into prostitution to pay off his debts. All this tale in the book. Then give that to what's her face. How should I know? Oh. My mother was a whore, as you'll recall. None of the other elven boys in the whorehouse knew their fathers. I was not so unusual. I didn't know my mother either, of course. She died giving birth to me. My first victim, as it were. We were all raised communally by the whores. It was a happy enough existence, ignoring the occasional beating. Until eventually I was sold to the crows. I brought a good price, so I hear. Ah, compassion and beauty both in the same woman. It is a delight, truly, though what you say is unnecessary, oh, even if it on. is appreciated. It could have been much worse. Shall I tell you about what happened to the other whorehouse boys who did not fetch a decent price with the crows? Surely your life has not been so idyllic. People like you and I are not the product of happy lives of contentment, after all. Hmm. My original point is well, that my mother's cool. dalish nature was always a point of fascination <laughs> for me. Through all the years of my so core training, okay. the one thing of my mother's that I possessed was a pair of gloves. There. They Let's were of Danish make, I knew that much, yes. and beautiful. I had to keep them hidden, of course, as we were not allowed yes, such things. Are. Eventually, they were discovered, and I never saw them again. Not at all. I think of myself as Antivan. Still, that did not stop me from running off to join a clan when I drew near Antiva City once. Naturally, the reality did not live up at all to the fantasies I had constructed as a boy, staring at those gloves. But, such is life. Come, enough talk of the Dalish. Let us move on. <laughs> Here I am. Again? I'm game. Here I am. Again? I'm game. Oh. Here I am. Oh, this should be good. Go ahead. Well, the crows would have you believe that it is an involved process that takes years of training, the sort that tests both your resolve and your endurance. Survive that process, and maybe, just maybe, you're good enough to start being considered one of them. But quite frankly, the truth is that all it requires is a desire to kill people for a living. It's surprising how well one can do in such a field. Within the crows, I did. But it has been something the crows have devoted a great deal of time to perfecting. An assassin simply specializes in striking from stealth and in maximizing that first attack to be as lethal as possible. Debilitate your foe, either by poison or by crippling their limbs, makes any follow-up combat you need to engage in that much simpler. See? Getting paid for the act is beside the point. An assassin is more a tactical choice than a lifestyle. Of course, the crows like to pretend that their abilities are trade secrets, shrouded in shadows and wrapped in a blanket of mystery. Uh, so let's just keep this between you and me, shall we? Hmm? Okay. Yeah. Are you sure I can't interest you in this hat? A pair of earrings, perhaps? A cheap? There's knights from Redcliffe spread yes. all over Ferelden on Damn some it. kind of mission, but I hear that they're starting to become red. More Don't likely they got tired that. of searching for something that can't be found and abandoned their search. I wonder what Earl Eamon is going to do without any knights. That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. Take it for what it is. There's been another clash of forces, this time north of Lothering. Both the Benorn 
and Loghain are saying that they won this clash. So we're not sure exactly what happened yet. From the sounds of it, I think the forces accidentally caught. That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. Take it for what it is. Of course. Goodbye. Enchantment? Enchantment! Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go just handle an enchant something and I guess we'll be off to find the dwarves. Okay, I don't... Yes, enchantment. Yeah, you thought I'd enchant. Okay, well... I guess I'm going to gather my party and go forth. I haven't talked to him since I got him. But he hasn't, he's not really useful. Like, I have Alistair. But I am gonna keep her because she heals. And that's my party. Morgan. More often. Thank the Maker, my brother and his should family made it out of Lothary. He said that the Darkspawn or attacked it the very next day. The Darkspawn the took Lothary, did they? I don't know. I expect so, since there was no one there to stop them. Well, it won't I, I be much longer until around. those monsters get here. There doesn't seem to be anyone fighting them now. So, let's go get our dwarves. I'm taking my caravan to High Ever, where it's peaceful. Okay. Oh, that's right. I bought you a staff. Can I interest you in something? I've got the finest selection of previously owned armor and weaponry this side of Val Royo. Why pay through the nose for new equipment Wait. when you can buy like new for much, much less? So it does about the same oh, of course. thing. And remember, everything is Farron's 24 hour lifetime Woman. guarantee. I, I wasted my money. Whatever. Forgot. Okay. All right, everyone's got their health poultices. We are going to go back to the mountain. Oh, 
felt all of Pharrell. King Loghain will not suffer the delay of his appointed messenger. I'm trying my best, guys. I'm trying my best. I'm gonna Liata, talk to my surface dwarf. This land is held in trust for the sovereign dwarven kings. I cannot allow entry at this time. King Loghain demands yeah, the allegiance sure. of the Desher, or whatever. lords, or whatever yeah, you guess. call them in your assembly. I am his appointed messenger. I don't care if you're the king's wiper. Orzammar will have none but its own until our throne is settled. Who doesn't? If I don't get in, no one should. Orzammar has no king. Endrin I do can return to the stone not three weeks ago, sick over the loss of his sons. The assembly has gone through a dozen votes without agreeing on a successor. <laughs> 24 hours. If it is not settled soon, we risk a civil war. The wardens killed King Caelan and nearly doomed Ferelden. They're sworn enemies of King Loghain. Well, that is the royal seal. That means only the assembly is authorized to address it. Grey Warden, you may pass. I mean, You're letting Elfrey. in a traitor? Wait, that and was a Elfrey, foreigner? Right? <laughs> In the name of King Loghain, I demand that you execute this stain on the honor of Ferelden. So still nothing for the meat. You, you'll hear of this. King Loghain <laughs> will see you quartered. You are free to enter Orzammar, Grey Warden. Though I don't know what help you will find. A trust follow, Warden. Your arrival is a mixed blessing. We prefer that outsiders not witness our infighting, but your presence will be tolerated. In... I guess you will. Kill you. 